Hi everyone. If you need to enable your PC's CPU virtualization, please follow the instructions in this video. But first, to check if your CPU or hardware virtualization is enabled or not, open the Task Manager. On the Task Manager, show the Performance tab, and then click CPU. You should see the status of your CPU virtualization on the status pane at the bottom of the window. For my case here, it is still disabled. To enable this CPU virtualization, you'll have to do it from your UFI BIOS settings. To enter your BIOS settings, you may either press your BIOS key during boot up, go via Windows Recovery Environment, or use a command line from Windows. For this tutorial, I will use the command line to restart my PC into the BIOS settings. So run the command prompt as an administrator. On the command prompt, type shutdown, dash R, dash FW, dash T0, and then press enter. This command line will restart your PC and then bring you to the BIOS settings. All right, once you're in BIOS, you will need to look for the Intel or AMD virtualization technology setting. Your BIOS settings layout might be different from mine, but the name of the CPU virtualization setting should be similar or even same. If your BIOS is like mine, go to the advanced mode and then show the advanced tab. Expand the CPU configuration and you should find the Intel or AMD virtualization technology setting near the bottom. Enable this setting and then save the change to restart your PC and go back to Windows. Now, let's check if the CPU virtualization is enabled. All right, so that's how easy it is to enable the CPU or hardware virtualization. I hope you find this tutorial useful and thank you for watching.